Hey guys and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about the VD subroutine in Abacus. Well, let's begin with the key points. VD is called for all degrees of freedom listed in the boundary condition. So this is obvious. VD defines the displacement, velocities and acceleration for all nodal coordinates. Also, Abacus uses VD to obtain initial velocity. Now, some critical notes. The initial velocity is obtained by the passing of a step time minus dt value into the subroutine. So if you see a negative value uh, for the time when printing the data, don't be scared. Moreover, VIRDISP is called for each configuration uh, to establish the nodal accelerations. At last, Abacus passes the initial conditions to the subroutine, which goes by the name U for displacement, V for velocities, and A for accelerations. Now, the most important variable to be defined, RVAL or the return value, which goes by the dimension of NDOF and N block. RVAL is the key parameter that should be defined by the user. Our val for a condition is specified by the JBC type parameter, which I will talk about it later. And here are some other variables that are passed to the subroutine by Dabax. I will not focus on them since you can find them in the user manual. Nonetheless, the most important variables that you should consider when writing the subroutine is the step time total time and the JBC type parameter. For instance, if you want to define displacement boundary conditions, you should specify the number zero for JBC type parameter with an if condition. Now, let's see an example. Suppose that we want to simulate boundary conditions according to these pictures. The one on the left is available in Abacus CAE. We just have to specify a cylindrical coordinate system and give a value to the first translational DOF, which is according to this. Now, the one on the right, on the other hand, is not accessible in Abacus CAE, and we have to write a subroutine for that. The first step is to obtain the governing equations for boundary conditions. As you can see it here, this is for ux, and the second equation is for the uy. As you can see, we just need a Cartesian coordinate system. Now we can simply give Abacus the following equations. Let us see the solution in Abacus environment. Suppose that I have a soul containing a hole in it. If you notice, the horizontal axis is the x-axis, while the vertical axis is the z-axis. Furthermore, I have three steps, and I want to induce the boundary conditions at the third step. Remember that we want to induce incremental movement of the boundaries. Also, the movement is of displacement type. Now let's head to the subroutine. This is the header of the subroutine and the dimensions and the characters and the parameters. So we have to specify the integer zero for JBC type since we want to use the boundary conditions uh, of uh, displacement and if condition to uh, make sure that we induce the movements in the uh, third step. Also, uh, I use the coordinate NP1, which is the coordinates of the nodes in the x-axis for uh, the x-parameter and the uh, coordinates of the nodes in the z-axis for y-parameter. And uh, I used these equations to obtain the cosinus and the sinus of the angle. A very very vital note, 
if you want to implement this method for obtaining the angle of the movements make sure that the middle of the hole is translated to the origin of the coordinate system at last i use these equations for the movement since i want to uh, move the uh, boundaries of the hole in x and z axis i only uh, need to pass the r -val for one and three dofs also uh, i use the step time uh, parameter to induce the incremental movement and the maximum amount of movement is four millimeters which uh, here goes by the meter so if i want to see the results now you can see that the results are according to what i've shown you in the uh, previous pictures this concludes our video if you find this video useful please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel take care